Hello everyone, this is Nabil Murad from Toronto, Canada. In this short training video, I want to share with you a beautiful technique for navigating your worksheet. We know that in Excel, we can select any cell by clicking on that cell. I can also select a cell by clicking in the name box and typing the cell reference in the name box. So if I want to jump to cell, let's say A150, I simply type the cell reference in the name box and then when I hit enter, Excel takes me there. I can navigate to adjacent cells by using the arrows on my keyboard, the up arrow, the down arrow, the left arrow, the right arrow. I can move to the last column by hitting control and right arrow and that takes me to the last column, column XFD. I can jump to the last row by hitting control down arrow, assuming that I don't have any values along the way. I'm in row number 1,048,576. To jump to the opposite corner, cell A1 in the worksheet, I hit control home. I'm in cell A1 in the worksheet. All these techniques work just fine, but I want to share with you a beautiful technique that enables you to convert your mouse into a joystick. So, if instead of using the wheel of the mouse in either direction, what if I push down the wheel of the mouse? The mouse pointer changes to a four-headed arrow. If I move my mouse a little bit to the right, a black arrow detaches from the four-headed arrow. So if I push down, it changes to a four-headed arrow. If I move to the right, it changes to a black arrow. The distance between the four-headed arrows and the black arrow is like the accelerator of your car. The greater the distance, the higher the speed of navigation. The smaller the distance, the slower the speed of navigation. I can navigate in any direction. I can navigate down, I can navigate up, I can navigate to the right. Whenever you release your mouse, it turns back to a normal mouse pointer if you want to jump to cell A1, you hit Control Home. Thank you for watching and see you in our next tutorial.